Reacting the halogens with iron wool is an excellent way of showing that the reactivity of group 7 decreases down the group. And what you can do is heat up the iron wool and drop it while it's hot into the gas jar of, of chlorine. And there you can see the iron wolves reacting with the chlorine. They're the brown fumes of the iron 3 chloride. Fantastic. You can really see it re reacting, can't you? Yeah. And then it, you can see that the chlorine's disappeared, the green colour's gone out of the, out of the gas jar. OK, this time what we're going to do is use some bromine to react with the iron wool. And we've put a few drops of bromine liquid, so I'm just going to warm up the bromine to get it to vaporise. And then heat the iron wool and what we should see, once we can get the iron wool hot, is that it starts to react with the bromine vapour. At the moment all we've got coming out of the top is bromine fumes and there you can see the glow and the reaction. All you're going to do this time is just warm the iodine up, it's a bit more difficult because it's a solid to start with. Just warm it up until you see the, the purple fumes, purple vapour. That's it. And let it go through the iron. That's it, just gently heating it. And will the iron wool, are we expecting the iron wool to glow as well? It'll glow, but it won't be as... Oh, you can see it happening now. ...vigorous a reaction as with the bromine.